Uh, my name is Raymond Bleichwitz. I'm a professor here at UCL at the Institute for Sustainable Resources and Deputy Director of this Institute. And I'm pleased to have been able to organize uh, 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 this event here as a first, uh, um, you know, as a force of a series of symposia together with Liz Milner and Kieran D Dillon, whom you see over there, um, as part of a series of symposia dealing all with the, what we call here at UCL the grand challenges, the topics that need to be addressed by research in order to solve those grand challenges of global health, of sustainable cities, and a few others. So now organizing the fourth uh, symposium is actually a great pleasure. It is also designed to be the last symposium in a row because it uh, resulted out of a collaboration between US, uh, UCL and BHP Billiton, a partnership that now comes to a, a well-terminated end. Nevertheless, I'm really looking forward to make this event a success thanks to you, thanks to the speakers, thanks to the contributors here in the room. So why did we pick the topic of water? I think it fits uh, very well to what we've done in the last year, the food issue, the food security. Um, and indeed, it is also one of the key sustainable development goals. However, when we speak about the access to water and the fact that so many people on Earth do not have access to water, to clean water, to sanitation, and all the conflicts and poverty issues that come with it, we can hardly overlook that investments in a more sustainable water supply uh, will also have a demand on other resources and implications on other sustainable development goals. So in line with our agenda at the Institute for Sustainable Resources to look at those resource interlinkages with energy, with materials, with food, we think that this symposium is an, a fantastic opportunity to discuss the key role of water in relation to those other resources. And speaking um, from the background of environmental research, I would also like to underline that when we look at water in terms of natural capital or ecosystem services, water is fascinating and truly important, if not uh, a life supporting, in that it matches all the different services provided by ecosystem. There is indeed the provisioning service where water is essential to well, help us all survive, but also when it comes to the regulatory functions of water, the cultural functions of water, or the supporting functions of water, we realize that in a way water is probably somewhat more important compared to oil, or minerals where you would think, well, they serve a purpose in economics and daily life, but actually they have not a certain ecosystem service function compared to water. So water is truly essential. And I very much look forward to discussing this with you. The flow of our symposium is that we first address what needs to be addressed, the question of is there scarcity of water around and what are the repercussions of the signs of water here? This is very much part of the first session. But then um, we would like to become more transformative in the sense of that we will look at the markets of water. What's going wrong if not enough water is provided for everybody? What is the deficit that may or may not exist in markets and where indeed improvements could be done? Uh, then we also look forward to the planning, the policies, the governance, what can be done on the ground, um, what can be done at the level of utilities, of regions, of national governments, if not the international community to help um, to accomplish the mission of the Sustainable Development Goals and deliver the water to those who need it in the most sustainable manner. Finally then, tomorrow we will also have a stakeholder session with people working on those issues rather than doing research. So we hope we can thereby enlighten the spirit here in the room and uh, help us as researchers to be more transformative 
and help to deliver those sustainable development goals. Having said this, I once more welcome you here and I now need to make an announcement which is a bit unfortunate. Most of you have seen um, uh, Joseph Alcamo being announced as the first keynote speaker and I'm terribly sorry to have to say that he is unable to come. So he sent us an email a couple of days ago saying his wife got ill so he needed to stay with her. And in search for any replacement for Joseph Alcamo, we discovered that actually the chair of the first session would be more than just a replacement. So I'm uh, very proud that Richard Taylor from UCL, professor here, and a true um, water expert himself, uh, has accepted the responsibility to deliver the first keynote. And therefore, we have this slight change in the program, which you probably might or might not have seen in the printed version of the program, because we learned it last, week's, uh, last week. So having said that, I think we can start. I look around to see Richard Taylor being ready to talk. There he is. So Richard Taylor, the floor is yours. And I look forward to your contribution. <laughs> 